Welcome to episode 331, Mohead Outrod 10 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 331, lesson 1 to lesson 5. This is an outline of episode 331, lesson 6 to lesson 10. Lesson number 1, don't accept your fate. Born Bedouin orphan. His fate was to be a shepherd. When Mohat Altrat was born, his father disowned him. He dispelled him and his mother from home, and from now on, they needed to live on the margin of the tribe. His father even literally slaughtered his brother to death. His life was so unimportant that nobody even noted the day and the year of his birth. The dates he uses now, he just invented, because his children wanted to celebrate his birthday with him. When Mohad was four, his mother died, and his grandmother took over her part. She didn't want him to go to school, because she believed school is for lazy people. His grandmother wanted him to become a shepherd. Lesson number two, learning is his only way out. And then a miracle happened. In um, third or fourth grade, he got a present from his father. This was the only thing he has ever got from his father. It was an old bicycle. With that bike, his entrepreneurial genius showed up for the first time. He started to rent out that bike to his schoolmates and made a little money with that. It wasn't much, but it allowed him to buy some books and some school materials. Mohat knew school was his only chance to get out from the conditions he was born in. And An ultra immigrated to France from Syria in 1969. He didn't speak French and survived on one meal a day. Lesson number three, world view and world outlook. From Syria to France, and then from France to Abu Dhabi and then back to France. He built a global company with 80% of sales outside France. He won the World Entrepreneur of the Year Award in 2015. Lesson number four, growth by acquisition and partnership from day one in 1985. This is a list of acquisitions made by Ultra Group over a period of 31 years. That's over 20 acquisitions. Mohat Atrat manages high growth through 50% internal growth and 50% external growth. Lesson number five, little debt, high equity. He owns 80% of his company, Atrat Group. Lesson number six, the objective of the company is not to make money, but help humans. That means I put a cross on what I was. Don't look at the company as a place where you generate money. You become an, an a robot who generates money year after year. This is not the objective of life. The objective of life is to help, to help the human. Believe in what you are doing. Believe in yourself. And all of us will make a better, better future. Thank you very much. Lesson number seven, confidence, confidence, and confidence. My group is uh, uh, 17,000 people, $2 billion uh, turnover. We have people in 100, 100 countries. One of the fundamental messages that this group is really uh, need to stick to, which is written in a charter called Pathways to the Possible, is confidence, confidence, confidence. We have to be confident, uh, whatever your nationality, whatever your color, whatever your religion, that trust, we need to trust uh, each other. Because honestly, I think that the trust is the basis of everything. Now we have at our disposal a, a lot of means to control people, but the best control is trust. It doesn't mean that you have to be naive, you don't look at things, not that. But start by, by saying, I don't know you, you don't know me. The only thing really I would like you 
to accord to me is that you trust me, but believe me, I will trust you. Lesson number eight, the importance of culture. It means it's a matter of culture. Why it's a matter of culture? Because your client, he's the one who's making your turnover. Now, take an example, a scaffold, a concrete mixer. If you look at the scaffold used by a, a mason in Germany, and you look at the scaffold used by the same mason, a different or equivalent mason in somewhere in France, but it's not the same. The German will tell you, I need a heavy scaffold. Because why is that? Because the work, the weight you are putting in the scaffold is not that heavy. <laughs> there is no rational thing. But it's his culture. He sees the thing, thing like that. He wants to buy this product. You take the French mason, he wants a light a scaffold, uh, easy to manipulate. He will tell you that it's easier to have a, a light a scaffold because if he carries on, he will have less problem with his back. Uh -huh. What can you do with that? Nothing. If you force the German to buy the French scaffold, it will never work. It's so, it's a matter of culture. Lesson number nine, he's a late bloomer. He started his business at age 37. He's 70 years old now, and he has never failed. Lesson number 10, he's a renaissance man. From computer to construction, from scaffolding to cement mixer, he mastered them all in a very short time. He speaks at least three languages fluently. He owns a rugby club. He wrote three novels. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.